All right, so I was in here, I have a cold right now. Um, I've been here working on the pond and um, kind of been thinking about it a lot. There's been a lot of um, posts of people, whether it's on Instagram or wherever, uh, kind of misidentifying um, cooters and yellow-bellied sliders. And so I figured it'd be a good time to make a video uh, telling the differences between cooters and yellow-bellied sliders. So let's take a look at them. So right here I have on the left is a yellow-bellied slider and on the right is a Florida uh, Peninsula Cooter. And uh, these two are often confused with each other uh, because they both have yellow stripes. Um, they're both uh, have, you know, yellow bellies. Um, and let, let's take a look at that. So the Florida Cooter has a plain yellow belly and then the yellow belly has, for the most part, plain yellow belly. Um, Florida Cooter's pattern is gonna be kind of confined to the little smudges up near here, but you don't really see anything on the bridge, nothing on the belly. So plain yellow belly. The yellow belly um, usually confined just to the outer margins here. Uh, every now and then they'll have a, an odd marking here, uh, for, but for the most part yellow bellies also, this, the actual bottom of the shell will be plain yellow. Uh, this is another turtle that's often confused and uh, erroneously called a yellow belly. Uh, this is an Eastern River Cooter. And while it looks similar to the other two, uh, the Eastern River Cooter actually has a pretty heavily marked underside and a lot of, a lot of black pigment. Um, they're much longer, lower shape, whereas the yellow belly is much more domed. Um, and they have pretty fine head stripes. Um, the biggest thing with the yellow belly is, and it may be hard to see on this one, but the yellow belly has actually a blotch behind the eye. Similar to how the red-eared slider has a, a, a red stripe, the yellow belly actually has like a squarish yellow blotch, and that's the best way to tell. They also have a big indent right in the middle of the upper jaw. Uh, Florida cooters, river cooters don't really have it, um, at least not as exaggerated as it is in the sliders. Um, but yeah, you can see that indent in the upper jaw right there. And then another thing, and I always tell people to look at this as well, is the yellow-bellied slider, actually each rear marginal will have a little indent, indent right there. So it gives them a much more kind of sawtoothed appearance. Whereas if you come and look at the uh, river cooter, <coughs> it doesn't have that at all. Each, each rear thing is straight. Uh, the Florida Cooter, for the most part, is about the same. Sometimes a little bit in between. Sometimes there's a little waviness in there, but it's nowhere near the uh, sawtooth look of the actual yellow belly. So anyway, um, there's all three of them together. I'm still working on this pond, but I thought while I had them out, uh, kind of seeing how they test fit, so to speak, uh, I thought I'd share a video that hopefully helps some people out uh, telling the differences between yellow-bellied sliders and cooters. Thanks. Thanks for watching.